Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. So to go ahead and get into it, I have another fun workout for you guys. So if you guys saw last week, I did a jumping jack variation workout for you guys. And I'm sure you guys enjoyed that one. It was a fun, more high intensity workout. This week, I have a squat variation workout for you guys. And it's going to be more low intensity, um, but it's still going to be a good burn for you guys. Okay. And we'll still have our arm exercises and our core exercises for today. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and get into everything. But first off, just make sure you guys have your weights. I'm just using my five pounder today, but you can actually do higher weights if you would like to, because again, we're doing more low intensity workouts. Um, and if you want to do lighter, that's more than welcome to do that as well, or just no weights at all. That's perfectly fine too. Um, make sure you guys have a towel, water, and if you want your music, make sure you guys get your music together um, for your workout as well. All right. And we'll go ahead and start with our breathing, okay? So nice inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Last time, inhale that confidence. Exhale, whatever doubt, whatever stress, whatever frustration, whatever anxiety that's going on, let it go now. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and grab your mirrors. We're going to go ahead and say our words to ourselves. I am God's gift. I am God's gift. I am God's gift. I can, I will, I can, I will, I can, I will. Yes, we got this, you guys. Awesome job, awesome job. All right. Now, to get into the workout, the first one that we're going to be doing, we're going to do a sumo squat position, okay? This is going to be without weights, okay? So this one here, as you can see, my legs are out. A good distance so we can do a sumo squat position okay after we do that sumo squat position we're going to come up arms reach up back down then we'll do opposite side nice side reach up back down for a count of 40 okay so just like that all right we'll go ahead and get the timer together for 40 seconds all right, staying in that stance, everybody. Starting now, lower down. Good. Arm reach up, lower down. Arm reach up. Good. Every time we bring our arm up, we're elongating our arms. You'll feel nice. Tuckness with our core area. All right. Good. Tighten that core. You'll feel it every time you engage those arms up. Good. Give me two more. And last one. Good job. Good. Ten second rest. We're going to go right into our next one. The next one will require weights, okay? So again, you can either have heavier weights or light weights or no weights, whichever one, okay? How it's going to look, you're still in that sumo squat position, okay? Arms going to go down. You're going to do two bicep curl ups, then you stand all the way up. So as you can see, we're holding that squat down. One, two, with those bicycle curls, um, bicep curls, and then back up, okay? 40 seconds on clock. Starting now. Down. One, two. Back up. Good. Back down. 
One, two, good, back up, down. One, two, back up, woo, down, the burn, you guys. Stay with me, you're already doing awesome. Stay strong, working those arms, working the legs, good. Up, up, good. There you go. Keep that going. Last one. And then up. Good. And we'll rest. Good job, you guys. We'll put those weights down to do our next workout or exercise, I should say. How the next one's going to look as you guys are resting a little bit. We're going to do squat, squat, crunch, scrunch, crunch. Squat, squat, crunch, crunch. So now we're bringing in core, okay? So that's how that one will look. As you can see, I brought my legs in more. So we're doing a regular stance for our squats this time, as opposed to sumo position, wider out. All right, 40 seconds on clock. Starting now. Good, so squat, squat, crunch up, crunch up, good. Squat, squat, crunch up, good. Make sure your back is nice and straight. I'll show you guys from the side. So you're gonna sit into it with those thighs. Then crunch up, cross body with those crunches. Make sure you're blowing the air out. That air is building up in your diaphragm. Blow it out. And last one. Good. And more rest. Good job, you guys. A few more seconds. As we're resting, we'll show you guys the next move. Okay? The next one is going to be regular squats with overhead presses. Okay? So as you can see, I have my weights. They're gonna be rested on my shoulder. Feet is in that regular squat position. You're gonna go down, come up, arms up, press. Back down, up, press up, okay? For 40 seconds. Starting now. Good, down, press up, good. Down, press up. Looking good, you guys. Stay strong. Power it through. You guys got this. Fight for your worth. Fight for yourselves. Know your worth within yourself. Believe in yourself. Good. You got this. Almost there. Show you guys from the side. Give me one more after this one. Good. And we'll rest. Okay. We'll put those weights down. What we're going to do this time, we're going to hold a squat chair hold. Okay. So in yoga, there's chair holds, which is pretty much a squat position. So you're sitting back into a squat, arms are up, or you can have them in, but they want to have them up, and we're holding it for 40 seconds, okay? Start the clock now, get in position, and we're holding. Hold, hold, nice and strong, everybody. You're going to feel the burn with this, especially doing all those different squat variations. The burn is going to be real. I'm telling you now, you're going to feel it. Looking good. Keep fighting, keep fighting. If it becomes too much, you can always just go back up to a stand. Go right back into it if it's too much, okay? In three, two, and one. Good, rest. Good. Now we're gonna rest for a longer time span. Okay, I'm gonna have the timer go out 
We're gonna do our 40 second to about a minute rest and then we'll start all over. So the goal is three rounds today. Okay, I'll be right back. Everybody, start making your way back. We can go ahead and go into our next round. Good. We're going to be in our sumo squat position, everybody. Doing our squat to our side reaches. Okay, for the first one. All right, we are starting to clock now and squat down, arm up. Good. Looking good, everybody. Stay strong. I'll show you guys from the side. squat positioning our bicep curl one so down two bicep curls all the way back up starting now good down one two good stand up back down one two up back down one two good up Back down. One, two, good. Up, back down. Good. Show you from the side. One, two, up, back down. One, two, up, back down. Last one. Good. Up. Good job, you guys. Rest in 10 seconds. You can put those weights down. We'll go right into our two squats to crunches. Good. We're starting to clock now. Regular squat positioning. Good. So one, two, one, two. Good. Back down. One, two. Good. Make sure you're blowing out that air. Good controlling breathing. Looking good, everybody. Keep fighting. 15 more seconds. Looking good. The last one. Good. Great job, you guys. Rest in here. Regular squat position to our overhead press from our shoulders with those weights. Starting now. Good. So down, press up. Down, press up. Good. I'll show you guys from the side. Down, press up. Looking great, you guys. Y'all are doing a fantastic job. Thank you guys for working out with me today. Woo! Give me one last one. Good. Press up. Good. Rest in here. Good. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and get into our chair squat hold position. And we'll start right now. Good, regular squat, arms up in the air. We're holding it, we're holding it. Nice and controlled here. Think about some good things. Woo, what things are you excited for going on in your lives right now? What things are you looking forward to for the next couple of months? Especially with the holidays coming around. Just think about all the good things here. If you like the mountains, if you love the water. I'm such a beach water person. I love the water. <laughs> good, we made it you guys. Great job. Good job. Perfect, we're gonna rest for our longer time span here. So our 40 seconds to a minute. And then we're gonna do our last round. Yay. All right, I'll be right back. I give y'all a few more seconds, just a few more seconds. Good. You guys should have had water, towel, whatever you need to do real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the beginning for this last round. Who knows, we may have, we have, we may have enough time for one more round. Y'all already know how I am, so it may happen. Just putting that out there. It might, it might happen. All right. 40 seconds on clock. Sumo squat position with those side reaches up. Starting now. Good. Squat down. Reach up. Good. Nice control. As you can hear, every time I'm going back to the center, I'm exhaling, inhaling as I go up. But do what, what's best for you. And as I always say, you guys can always modify and do whatever workout works better for you or whatever exercise specifically works for you, okay? Last one. Good. Good, good, you guys. We're resting our 10 seconds. Go ahead and grab your weights. Our sumo squat position with our two bicep curls. Good. Go ahead and get into position. Starting now. Guide those arms down. One, two. Stand back up. Good. Back down. One, two. Good. Back up and back down. One. Two. Woo, the burn, y'all. I'm feeling it. Woo. I know y'all are too. We in it together. Yes. Keep fighting. You got it. Looking great, you guys. Almost there. Woo. Last one. Let's stand all the way back up. We'll put those weights down. Good. Controlling that breathing, everybody. Good. Go right into our two squats with our crunches up. All right. Regular squat position starting now. Good. So one, two, cross body. Good. One, two, cross body. Good. Good, everybody. Good. Core.
core should be nice and tight. As I always say, the core is always your center. You're always working the core. Good, give me this last one. And crunch up, crunch up. Good, great job, you guys. Woo, blow out that air. Good, go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna do our squat presses. All right, starting now. Good. We'll squat down, press up. Good. Y'all look amazing. Y'all are doing so good to fight for yourselves today, to love on yourselves today. So good being in motion, you guys. Getting that heart pumping. Y'all are doing awesome. So good for your heart health, for your body health. Good. That last one. Good. I'm resting. Woo. Yes, you guys. We're almost there. Almost, one more, one more. Yep, and then we'll have enough time to fully stretch out. Yay! Good, squat position, hold, chair hold, okay? Go ahead, get yourself into position. Start the pot now, arms up, hold, hold, hold. there you guys 15 more seconds stay strong power through remember if you need to slow down or do it a little bit different you can always come out of that squat hold shake out those legs and go right back in three two one good great job you guys good so what I'm gonna do now, since we have like, ooh, it's probably about maybe seven, eight minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and do stretches, okay? So no fourth round. I know y'all are probably like, yes, because we did not wanna do that. <laughs> but if you do wanna do another round, by all means, play this video back and get in your extra exercise workout for yourself. <laughs> to get that other round if you would like to, yes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sit on the floor, okay? Hopefully you guys can see me just fine. All right, you know I like to always start with our legs out in the V, okay? So even though that was a low intensity workout, our heart rate is pumping right now, okay? So I wanna do some nice controlled breathing first. So we're just sitting upright here with arm, with legs out in the V. Arms are just placed down on our legs. Some nice breaths here. Looking good, you guys. Still controlling that breathing. Just nice inhale, exhales first. Good job. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring one leg in. So whichever one you guys can pick, whichever leg you wanna bring in, okay? Then you're gonna lean to the long get it side, okay? So lean. You can grab that foot or try to reach towards it, okay? And then we'll bring the opposite arm over so we get a nice full stretch in our oblique muscles from doing those crunches. You'll also feel it in the lower back. 
you're feeling your arms here. So it's just a good stretch overall. Hold it there. Still controlling breathing. I'll count down in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to do the opposite side. Okay? So bring the leg that we just did in. And then just lean towards the elongated side. Stretch arm all the way over. Get a nice full stretch here. Still controlling breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now I want to have both legs in, okay? So kind of like more like a butterfly position, okay? You hold your feet first. Still with our back nice and straight first here for some nice breaths. As you can feel the stretch in your hip flexor area, in those thighs, stretching in the lower back, stretching just a smidge here first. Good. Now we're just going to crawl our arms out a little bit or reach them forward, whichever one's more comfortable for you, so we can stretch the hip flexors more and our back more here. Make sure never to overextend the muscles, okay? And you'll feel when it feels like you've done too much or are about to do too much, okay? So just listen to your body and know what feels right as far as with your stretches, okay? I'll count down in five, four, three, two, one. Good. We'll walk those hands back up. Now, feet are going to be straight first. We're going to lean forward. Okay. And grabbing our toes. If you can't grab your toes, that's perfectly fine. Just bend your toes um, towards you so you can feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles. Okay. Count down to five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Last two that we're going to do with legs, you're going to cross one foot over, lean into it so you feel a deeper stretch in your hip from that foot that's on top. Okay. I'll count down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Opposite side. Good. Stretching forward, leaning into it. Now count down and five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now you can relax your feet here. Okay, relax your legs. We're going to clamp, um, clench our um, fingers together. Sorry about that. And then we're going to go outward. Okay, so go ahead and lock those fingers. Go outward just like that. You feel a nice stretch in your shoulder area here. I'm just moving just slightly side to side, nice control. Just to feel a little bit more of a stretch, okay? 
I'll count down five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna do the same thing behind you, but just with pulling down. So you're gonna lock those fingers together and then pull it down. So this one, you'll feel it nicely stretching out those biceps from those bicep curls today. You'll also feel it in the shoulder area, stretching that out as well. Now count down, almost there you guys, in five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Good job, everybody. Great job, great job. Go ahead and grab your mirror. Say those words to yourselves. I did it. I did it. I did it. We did it, you guys. Thank you again for being here with me today. And make sure you guys do something for yourselves today. Um, love on yourselves. Continue loving on yourselves. And I will see you guys next week. Have a blessed one. Bye.